Well, I managed to find a bell sprout, but I figured you guys might want to watch me catch it, right? Who knows? Maybe I could waste 500 Pokeballs on it. We'll find out in a second. That Pokeball is very pink. Hmm. Were they always like that? I don't remember. It's been a couple days. Now it's green. I did figure out the secret to changing the time, though. So that is good. There is a very specific secret to it. Which I can now do. Which is that you can only change the time to the future. You cannot travel backwards in time. Which I would assume means that if you want to change to, like, the morning from the afternoon, you would have to, like, jump to the next day. Somehow. But yeah, so if we see here, right now it thinks it is early in the AMs. So I should be able to... Do it? No, it hasn't worked. No. I might have to reload the game to make it happen, honestly. I'm uncertain on that point. Nope, there we go. It's instant. There we go. So I set to, what, like, 3 in the afternoon or something? I don't know. I believe... It might also be relative. Let me check what time it thinks it is. Oh, 4 a.m., so it's morning. Okay, so it's relative. If I move my clock forward three hours, it'll move its clock forward three hours, regardless of uh, what my clock actually says. Got it. Right, I need to grab the Bellsprout. I knew I had to go on the Pokemon Center, but I was like, wait, my Pokemon don't need healed? No, I need it to get the Pokemon out. Alright, let's go hop in the old Bill's PC. Deposit. We're going to deposit... Uh, we'll deposit Poliwag. Wait, Onyx can be at the bottom. Alright, withdraw. Where is it? It's at the very top, isn't it? Yeah, so there's number one, there's number two. They're the exact same level, so they don't matter. We will be getting a level 5 Onyx, which is a bit ridiculous, to be completely honest with you. Alright, get me in here. Was it you? No. It was the other guy. I remember now, but you made me talk to you anyway. Do you have a Bellsprout? Want to trade it for my Onyx? Yes. Why does it say the gender in giant text? Does it matter? Does the gender you trade affect the gender you get? I know the level does. I don't know about anything else. Ah, uh, this classic screen. I remember back in the original Gen 1 games, pulling the cable at the right time to, like, glitch out Pokemon and stuff. It's amazing how it was so consistently possible to do that. It was obviously not programmed with any security or anything. Otherwise, it would not be so easy. You would not be able to just pull it at the right second. Every time. Hello, Onyx. You're gonna have a dumb name, aren't you? Maybe not, I don't know. Look at him jiggle those rocks. Do they not name the Pokemon in this one? You're not gonna get a Farfetch'd named Ducks or anything? Yeah, I got myself a Bellsprout, thanks! Let's see if this thing is named. Oh no it is. Hey, it's Rocky! We already have a Rocky, you jerk! What item do you have? I'm taking whatever it is. Bitterberry. Okay. Well, there we go. Now we have an Onyx. We don't have to worry about catching one later when they're high level and annoying. We could always breed one that doesn't have a dumb name that we already gave to a different Pokémon. Jeez. So unoriginal. Now we definitely have to get rid of it. It's like, hmm, maybe we'll keep it. But no, we can't have two Rockies. I mean, I wouldn't have two Rock types anyway. But, whatever. It'd be more interesting to have a Geodude on my team anyway. I never have Geodudes on my team. It was Poliwag, who is at the bottom here. Hello, Poliwag. Oh, no, I don't want that Hoodoo. Alright. So. What to do next? We've checked out that house. This person doesn't have anything. What is today? Today is, uh, Friday. I think the Friday person is a few cities away. There is the gym. We're too weak to fight it, really. Faulkner from the Violet Gym is a great guy, and blah blah blah. You don't matter. 
We got a mart. We need to buy Pokeballs. That's number one, numero uno on our list of things to do today. I will buy none, because I don't actually have any money, apparently. What the heck? I've not fought any trainers? Hmm. What do you say? I saw a wiggly tree up ahead. If you touch it, it squirms and dances. Cool. What do you guys have to say? I don't actually remember. She uses the names of her favorite things to eat. For the nicknames she gives to her Pokemon, I mean. Yes. I call my Pidgey Strawberry. Very nice. Is it from the island of the pink Pokemon? Because then it would look like a strawberry. That is an obscure reference. What do you have to say to me? An odd tree is blocking the way to Goldenrod City. It's preventing me from shopping. Something should be done about it. You could climb around it if you had a brain. I don't. Well, hey! I was going to snap that tree with my straight arm punch. But I couldn't. I'm a failure. Okay. Yes, you are. Look at that. Pseudo-Widow jiggle. Alright, well, it's obviously impassable. I don't remember. What, what route is this, actually? I need to know what route we are on. Tell me. Route 36, huh? Does 30 is 36 all of a route or what? Like what is this grass patch going to have in it? I don't actually know. A ladybug cuz it's morning. That's right. Well, that's convenient. We'll take care of capturing that. Post haste. Bonk right in the face. I always liked Lediba, but I never actually use him on my team. And doesn't it evolve in some weird way? I can't remember how. Or is it just a level evolve? I don't remember. I don't know, there's always something. Like, I, I like the idea of Ledian, but it is not a bug that ever ends up on my team. Ever. And I don't always choose the strongest Pokemon, so it's not like strength matters that much. Bonk. Got that pink Pokeball there. I was trying to research, oh wow, about the GS ball, because they removed it from the game for the English version, but I don't know if technically like the code still exists and if there'd be like some combination of codes you could do to like somehow activate it. I don't know. Lediba was caught. Hooray, we got it. It is timid and clusters together with others. The fluid secreted by its feet indicates its location. I mean, pretty much, pretty sure it being in a location indicates its location. Alright, what do we got here? Huh. Gotta say, I did not expect a Growlithe. Growlithe. I mean, it's kind of pointless because we already have a fire type, but I will definitely catch that thing. It's probably a bit hard to catch, too. Oh, come on, no! Okay, well. Ghastly, you are needed a lot sooner than I thought you would be. We are going to catch us a Growlithe. Definitely. Defiantly. I'm going to capture a fire dog. A Pidgey. Hello, Pidgey. You do your little flap thing. We don't care. I got a Ghastly. Little five. He's dangerous. She's dangerous, I mean. It's a she. I never did check what gender that Onyx was. Hmm. Lediba, again. If we don't get a shiny at some point in this series, I'll be very sad. And I don't mean, like, from that egg that has a 50% chance or anything. I mean, a random wild shiny. It better happen. I even recorded when I was searching for that bell sprout just in case it did. But it did not, so you'll never see that footage. It was like two minutes. Digi. I want to make some actual progress, but I, I wasn't expecting morning to happen, honestly. I thought we'd be playing during the day. There we go. Alright. I don't actually know if Mean Look works on Roar, but we're going to try it out. Oh, I don't have Mean Look, apparently. Well, Hypnosis would work too, but it has a 50% chance of hitting or something. Of course it knows Bite. 
Okay, can we hypnosis again, please? No, we can't. Oh, it didn't affect. I didn't even pay attention to what it said. Why doesn't it affect, though? Isn't Growlithe fire type? Is it fire normal? Or does it just... I mean, it's hypnosis. I'm guessing that's just its missing message. We're never gonna capture that. Whatever, I don't care. We don't need that crap. I need mean look. Yeah, I genuinely don't know, actually, if it would work. I don't generally use mean look, because the situations where you need it are so rare nowadays. It's not like the olden days. The Ruins of Alf! I don't remember how these work, really, and I think they work differently in Crystal anyway. Welcome to this chamber! That's a great introduction. There are sliding panels that depict a Pokémon drawn by the Ancients. Slide the panels around to form the picture. To the right is a description of the Pokémon. Scientists in the back are examining some newly found patterns. Oh gosh. I don't remember if this one actually matters. Or anything. This is Kabuto, isn't it? It's kind of weird that they got this, but you can't even find a Kabuto in this game. I always get some of these backwards, too. I'm kind of just doing a thing right now. These aren't going to be all in the right place. But they will be close enough. Okay, that... What am I even doing there? Is that that, maybe? No, it doesn't look right. This is clearly the corner. Um... That's an eye there. This is... I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's one of the legs. That's the top corner. Okay, come on. We'll do that, I guess. Okay, we got the other eye. Got the other leg bit. We got a top bit. This looks pretty accurate. Except for that. What is going on there? What have I done to the science of this? Does that mean this goes here? Oh yeah, it totally does. I don't know how I messed that up. Yeah, I wasn't really trying, so... Is that correct? No, I guess not. Well, that was annoying. Let's do it again! Get it right this time, I guess. I really wish that it would be like, no, you you don't have it right. But no, they just let you exit. Hey, why is that one the wrong one? What am I doing here? Were the eyes too far apart? Was one of the bottom bits wrong? The world may never know. Um, where does this one go? It goes right there. So annoying. Must get through this. I don't think that's right. Maybe. Maybe it has weird things below its eyes. I guess it's possible. Okay. That does not look right at all. No, so clearly these eyes need to be reversed. To look even remotely accurate. That doesn't really look right either, though. So are these backwards, then? Hey, we did it! Hooray, now what? What I find weird about this is, does this mean, like, nobody had ever done this before? There is a strange presence here. We are not going to be catching all the unknown, or as they were known in Japanese, the Anun. I was a bit disappointed when we found out the English translation of their name. Hey, look at that. I think it's an A. Okay, that was really confusing for a second there, because I used the unknown sound as my uh, text message notification. Kind of makes sense, right? Text, unknown, yeah. But yeah, I hear that noise, it's like, ah! But I just, I find it really hard to remember what the notification messages are on my phone, unless they have, like, a contextual thing, I guess. 
So I use unknown for texts and I use Spiro for um, Twitter notifications. Everything else just has standard. I don't use that much. What am I doing? I do want to use the next Pokemon, of course. I keep hearing noises in the distance, and I don't know what they are, because all I can really hear is my headphones. Okay, sorry about that cut there. I had to go figure out what was going on. It was my phone making a lot of noise in the other room. It was very fun and all that, as phones often are, yes. All right, well, anyway, we were trying to capture this stupid unknown that is quite vicious. I don't have many Pokeballs left, so let's hope we get lucky here. I don't remember how annoying unknown are to capture. We're only capturing the one, though. I have no interest in filling out my unknown Pokedex. I don't even remember. Do you get it here? I think you get it here right now. If you go into a specific building. Because different types of unknown exist, it is said that they must have a variety of abilities. They don't. Kind of weird. No. Goodbye, unknown. You will forever be mostly useless. Which is too bad. Alright, let's get the Pokedex, I guess. Pokemon appeared in the ruins? That's incredible news! We'll need to investigate this. The strange Pokemon you saw in the ruins? They appear to be very much like the drawings on the walls there. Hmm... That must mean there are many kinds of them. Oh, can I not get the Pokedex yet? Do you have to capture more than one, maybe, and then you get it? Ruins of Alf. Exploration Year 10. Ten years and I'm the one who discovers the Pokemon, huh? While exploring the ruins, we suddenly noticed an odd presence. We all got scared and ran away. You should be careful, too. The ruins hide a huge secret, I think. Alright, well, we're done here. I don't care. We'll be back someday. But for now, we want to be on Route 32, where we can go ahead and do a little bit of training. Okay, which Pokemon do we have out front right now? We have Cyndaquil, which is fainted, so Rocky. Yeah, that's okay, but I mean, I'll train up Poliwag, I guess. I don't really want to train Spiro. it seems like a waste. You know what? No, we're going to train Caterpie. Because right now, Caterpie is completely worthless in that gym. It just faint instantly. Wait up, what's the hurry? What? Oh, have you gone to the Pokemon Gym? Dang it. I thought you could at least get that far down. Nope. Can't. Oh, well, there's another place we can go. A uh, Perskerberry. Perskerberry. Okay, we got a Perskerberry. That is the best type of berry that ever existed, apparently. To nobody ever. Alright, let's go up here. Kind of weird. The guide I saw says, like, you can only get ghastly at night, but don't ghastly always appear in here no matter what? I don't know. Hello. Over hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. Always found this tower obsession a little weird, but whatever. It's a thing. Sage Nico. A bell sprout. So many bell sprouts in this tower, it's ridiculous. Isn't it called like Sprout Tower as well? I don't remember. Ooh, Caterpie's pretty close to a level, so that's good. Will he be able to defeat a bell sprout by himself? Probably not. That vine whip is quite vicious. But it didn't do much because of bug type. So yeah, looks like uh, we can hold our own here, assuming everything goes my way. Which it may not. Bonk. Alright, we're only going to have time to do like one or two battles, but it's fine. It's better than nothing, right? Come on, one more hit and then he'll be in the red. Then one more hit and he'll be dead. Yep. Predicted that. Meanwhile, I am in the yellow, which is not that terrible. Not that great either, though. Dead. Hooray, level 5! Look at all that progress. Oh, I should heal my Pokemon, but oh well. Uh, do I want to change Pokemon? No, I do not. I want to keep this Pokemon here. These are very weak Bellsprout. I bet Spearow could take one. Maybe. But we're going to beat it up a little first. 
it's not very effective. Bonk. Oh, wow, a critical hit. Very nice. Oh, that was a three. Can't do three damage to me. I don't deserve that. Okay, Spiro, we're going to try to train you here. It'll probably fail, but we'll try it. So now we've heard both of my phone notification sounds in one episode. Luckily, I turned my phone off, so that won't be an issue. There we go, no more Bellsprout. Spiro gained some XP and is no longer pathetically leveled. Anything lower than three I just consider pathetic in a Pokemon game. Three is at least acceptably newbie. Yes, I will change back to the old Caterpie who needs more training. Oh no, it's another bell sprout. He wiggled his neck. It's so scary. We're only gonna get one tackle out of this Caterpie. Hopefully it hits. Yes. It sucks, these bell sprouts are so low level they don't know growth. Wow, a critical hit and it still only did three damage. Amazing. All right, Spiro, maybe you can do this. Maybe not. Critical hit again? This bell sprout's out of control. We gotta get rid of him. Go away. We don't like you. This is the only battle we're getting to do. It's taking forever. I'm not strong enough. Okay. Oh, a critical hit. Wow, three critical hits. Amazing. One was mine. Level up. Ah, oh, so close. Sage Nico was defeated. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. Yes, yes you are. Alright, well that'll do it for today. Uh, hopefully next time we can make some significant progress on this tower. Looking forward to it. See you then.